Okay, so let's look at question number two in this problem set where we have y equals negative one half x squared. So again, we could graph this um, using the Desmos tool. Um, but if we want to look at this um, in a manual sense here, let's just work on, on what we've got. So the first thing I want to do is I want to rewrite the equation um, in terms in, into standard form. Okay, and that will allow us to see where some of the points are here. So standard form of the equation, remember, is y is equal to ax minus h squared plus k. Okay, so the number in front of x squared is the a value here. So that's negative one half. So that's a number that's less than one. Okay, and it's also a negative value. Then we have x. Now remember, we don't have a number with x, so we're going to put in the minus zero because um, that is a, a piece of the component there, plus zero. Okay, so now we have our standard form of the equation and we can start to pull out some bits of information here that we need. So the first thing we need to look at here is whether we have compression or expansion. Okay, so compression means that the parabola is going to be flatter and expansion means that the parabola is going to be steeper. Okay, so if we were to plot this um, out, um, you would see that when A is less than one, Okay, we have a compression of the parabola. Okay, compression of parabola. That means it's not going to be very um, steep. It's going to be very, very sort of flat, more like a, like a large cup. Okay, but we also have here X as, or sorry, A as being a negative value. Okay, so that should tell us something too, that if it's a negative value, Okay, it's going to open downward because that, um, as we've looked at and we saw in question one, um, when it's positive, it opens upward, and if we flip the sign, it'll open downward. Okay, so that's one bit of information we can get out of there. The vertex is the next one that's important, okay? And the vertex is really easily found by finding um, the two values when you put it in standard form. So again, we it is minus zero or minus h plus k, and in this case it's plus zero. So our vertex is just going to be at zero, zero. Okay, so we could actually put that in the graph right now, and we know it's going to open downward, okay, because the a value is tell us, telling us that. So now we need to do some plotting here. We, we're looking to see if there are any x-intercepts and y-intercepts, okay? So, Probably the easiest thing to do at this point is just get a, a feel for the shape of this parabola. So I would do a simple table, okay, where we have x and y, okay, and we'll just put in our values here. We're going to start with zero, okay, and we'll do uh, negative one and positive one, okay. So when x is zero, y is zero. When x is negative one, we are going to get x is going to be um, negative one squared is one times a negative a half is going to be negative 0 0.5, okay? And when it's positive one, it's also going to be negative 0 0.5, okay? And then maybe we can put in a two here, minus two and a plus two. So two squared is four, whether it's positive or negative, times a half of that is going to be negative one in both cases, okay? So those are gonna be our, enough of our points to look at. So we can go negative one, or positive one, and we are gonna go down a half on the x-axis, just like that, or uh, sorry, on the y-axis. And then we're gonna go negative two on the x and positive two on the x and down to a one right here. So this is going to give us our shape here of our parabola. So remember, this is gonna be a smooth curve, okay? So it would it's gonna kind of come up. So maybe you can get that a little bit, a little bit better there. Um, Okay, it's going to come up, cross right through the vertex, and then and then loop down. So it's going to be a fairly, fairly wide. Okay, in terms of um, the 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 opening of of the parabola, you can. So this is what's called. It's being compressed against the axis, the x-axis. Okay, it's not not being stretched vertically along the y-axis. Okay, and then again, our domain and range here. So we can just do this on the graph here. Our domain is our x values, so x can be positive or negative. Okay, so x is going to be um, equal to um, 
all positive or negative values, so we can just say it's the element of all real numbers. Okay, and then the range of the value is that our biggest value here is going to be y is equal to zero and then everything below that, okay, because of that negative sign. So we can say y is less than or equal to zero for our range. All right, and so that gives us a way to, to look at where all the, um, the properties are of this. And if you want to see this in a more accurate form, I would just go into the Desmos tool and take a look at how you can just plot that.